Okay, so um, we're back here again at uh, 976, um, 976 Palm Terrace here in uh, Pasadena. Now, um, the homeowner went ahead and installed a clean-out for the back house, and uh, that's where we're running our camera from because we couldn't inspect this line when the first time we came here. So remember, we're here to check the main sewer line. We cannot check every pipe in the house. But we have our camera in. We're all the way out to the city connection, which basically we've had a look at before. Um, there's the city connection. You know, you do have cast iron pipe pretty much all the way to the city connection in the street. Um, I did put on the report for the, from the first visit pretty much what we made some recommendations Obviously, it would be better replacing the pipe, but you can see there are people living in the house and they have been using the water and stuff. And at least what you could try to do is run a cable with a blade through the cast iron piping. Um, and this way you can try to descale the pipe as best as possible until replacement is, uh, is really necessary. The main thing to remember is always never flush tampons, baby wise paper towels, things like that. And uh, if you follow those directions, you could probably still have the sewer line last for several years because it does have rust buildup, but you know, there's no major breaks, there's no roots or anything getting into the line. So it's basically just rust buildup. And uh, apparently this probably from 1956 or something, the pipe, which at that time was pretty good cast iron. Uh, it's pretty much from the 60s onward that became really not a very good material. But the 50s were pretty good, and there's no reason why you couldn't have many years still to come out of it, providing you don't flush what we told you and that you... Um, possibly run a cable with a blade through the line. Okay, hang on. Ali. Okay, let's continue going. And that's why, you see, we always recommend never to flush these items down the line, but uh, people are living in the house. They are flushing. Um, the best thing to do is to at least run a cable with a blade, descale the pipe until a replacement is going to be necessary. Now, they did put this clean-out here in the back house. We definitely want to have the clean-out for the front house because I remember that was sunk, sinking down real bad. It was very poorly installed. So, at this point, either replacement of the pipe, which obviously is going to probably be a little extra because it's coming all the way to the back, and, um, and otherwise descaling the pipe. The first video and the second video pretty much correspond with each other condition of the pipe. I would never recommend running a hydrojetter through this line. You never want to do that. Because you could possibly break the pipe. Uh, you only want to do a cable with maybe a half a blade on it.
Okay, here it comes out of the clean out here on the side of the house and we'll stop the recording over here.